And just told us another round of storms blowing through tonight after most of the damage from last night's storms have already been cleaned up. Yeah, between Knox County and Knoxville last night, more than 30 roads were blocked due to water covered roadways. And only one of those roads, Richland Colony at Robinson Road in West Knoxville, is still closed tonight. A complete repair is needed after the storms washed it away. WAT6 on your side, reporter Kirsty Crawford joining us now live from there. And so, Kirsty, the road still needs to be fixed, but crews are also making sure they're ready for any possible damage from tonight's storm. That's right, Bo. This gaping hole will take at least a week or week and a half to fix, but crews are working to make sure that what might have happened here does not happen again tonight. We try to look at our culverts uh, as, as frequent as we can to determine, you know, the condition of them, make sure they're not blocked with, you know, debris and things like that, because that's usually what puts a strain on not only the culvert, but the roadways. In Knox County alone, 15 roads with high water and 24 downed trees after last night's storms. Knox County Engineering Director Jim Snowden saying his crews were busy overnight, clearing trees and blocking off roadways, and that busyness continuing into the day. Other work included checking culverts around the county. Snowden saying this damage on Richland Colony Road was barely noticeable at first, but with the heavy rain and then a heavy KUB truck driving over just before the road washed away. Snowden saying most culverts are built with a 50 year flood in mind. Crews have to make sure they are working properly and not blocked with debris. What we've determined this storm to be is probably a 100 year storm, so it's a 1%. So uh, obviously, you know, we, we look at, you know, as far as our culverts, a lot of these culverts just are potentially undersized for that storm because there's such a small chance that storm may occur. Now, Snowden says he's not sure if this culvert was too small for the rain that we had last night or if there was debris blocking it, creating that backup. But he says they will be looking at the size of this culvert and a culvert on Joe Hinton Road to see if they need to be bigger or if there's anything else they need to do uh, before we get more storms tonight. Reporting live in Knox County, Kirstie Crawford, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Kirstie, yeah, they need to be prepared out there. They're getting ready. We appreciate that. Uh, Snowden saying the repairs on Robinson Road could cost around $50,000, but there were no other roads in need of repair, thank goodness, after last night's storms.